Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software and on today's video, Windows Workshop, I'm going to show you how you can name your USB drive. Of course, this will also work with SD cards and external hard drives. But please do keep in mind that when you rename a drive, it will delete all of the contents. Right now I'm on the desktop of my computer and I'm going to access a Windows Explorer so that I can see all of my attached drives. I can do that by pressing the Windows key and the letter E, or I can just click on my little folder icon at the bottom. Or if that's not here, I can click Start, and then over here, click on Documents. Once you're here, you wanna to go to this PC, and this will show you all of your attached drives. And here you see that I have a total of three extra drives attached. I have my main operating system drive, my C drive, I have a backup drive, my D drive, and I also have three external drives attached. One of them is a drive that I use for work media, and this is a really big external hard drive, and the other two are small USB drives. Drive E is currently named Panda, and that is because it is a Panda-shaped USB drive. Drive F is currently just called USB drive because it's a generic USB drive, and drive W is my work drive. I'm not going to make any modifications to this drive on this video. However, I'm going to rename both of these other drives. If my Panda drive was the only USB drive that I had available, I might not want to hand it to someone named Panda. If that's the case, I can rename it really easily. But like I said earlier, keep in mind that when you rename a drive, it will reformat that drive as well, and all of the contents of the drive will be lost. So you want to either back up the contents of that drive first or make sure that it's not anything that you need. Or you can do this as soon as you get any new drive. I'm going to right click on my Panda drive and I'm going to choose Format. In this window, there are several options. There's a capacity option, a file system option, an allocation unit size option, as well as a volume label option. The only one that you're going to want to change is volume label. The FAT32 is the correct default file system type, and the size should automatically be set at the maximum capacity. For the volume label, I'm going to rename this drive, and I'm just going to call this one Ashley's USB, so that way if I give it to someone else, they'll know who it belongs to. And I'm going to check the quick format box to make this process a little faster. I'll press start, and I get a warning, warning me that formatting will erase all of the data on the disk. And if I want to do that, I can click OK. But if I want to quit this process and retain the data on my USB drive, I can click Cancel. But I'm OK with this in this scenario, so I'm going to press OK. And after a few seconds, it tells me that the format is complete. I can press OK. And I can now close the format window. And you see that the drive has been named Ashley's USB. I can do the same thing with my other USB drive, and you see that this one actually has some files on it. And so in this case, it's going to delete all of those files. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to choose Format. And again, I'm going to leave the Capacity, File System, and Allocation Unit Size alone, and I'm going to change the volume label. And the volume label can be anything that you'd like it to be. It can be descriptive or informative. It can tell you what kind of items are on it or which USB drive it is. I could call this USB drive scoped, or I could call it something like official, or even something like firm ABC to indicate that this storage device has files for this client. You can name drives anything that you'd like as long as it's within the character limit. And there is a character limit here, and you'll know once you reach it. If I just keep typing, you see that that's about as many characters as it allows. And if that's what I want to call my drive, all I have to do is hit Start, press OK. And after a little while, the format will be complete. And now you see that there's no data on this USB drive. Everything was deleted. And the name has been changed to all of the characters that I was able to type in there. And I can do the same thing again as many times as I need to. If I don't like that name or I'm going to change the purpose of this USB drive, such as using it for work that is still to be completed, I can simply and easily rename and reformat that drive 
and now I have a nice clean drive with the new name that I have requested. And like I said, you can do this on any type of drive. It works with USB drives, SD cards, as well as external hard drives. And so you can make sure that all of your drives are labeled with your name or any identifying label that'll make sense to you to make sure that you know exactly what's plugged into your computer at all times. Don't forget that Advantage Software offers anytime support. Tech support is available for any question, anytime, including weekends and holidays at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day.